Uh -huh. Have you been on here before? Yes, I have. Uh huh. Uh, what's the update? Um, I'm learning to be a submissive wife and to know that um, my Ms. husband. Wife? Yeah. You're married. I'm the one who was like, I'm married, and I want it. You're the one who was trying to to get rid of your husband to go back to the other high value man. Yeah. Yeah, I got a good memory. Mm-hmm. Did your husband see that show? Yes, he did. Uh, what was the conversation? It, he said, it's like, how can you embarrass me? Do you want to be with me? And do I make you happy? Do I give you enough? And he is enough. It's just I didn't realize that. Okay. Um, after he, what did you say to him? I said I was thinking about my ex because he was, he is high value and he was just closer to age. Um, but with going on to that story, my husband, he intervened from me marrying my ex. So it was like something to say, should I, I guess he won to get me. So I'm just going to oh. stick with um, since our conversation, um, have you had any therapy? Yeah, I, I am in therapy every month. Okay. So, um, I do that. Um, it's just what I need to do is I just have to stick with one thing and stick with one person because, um, I feel like my, my energy when I do meet men, um, that it's just a different way. I don't think my beauty gets that well, much attention, but well, it's, it's, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter what attention you get from other men, ma'am. You, you're married. Yeah, I am married. Yes, I am married. Like, I'm not. I'm not in a box. Like I still have to talk to people as for business. But that's not attraction. But if you're a salesperson, like there's something that has to be first being, oh, I want to buy it. And it has to When you ask me, I'm a, I'm a, come on now, who are you talking to? I spend, okay. Why do you need to be a, appealing to other men physically? No, I don't. I do not. I do not. I well, do not at all. It's coming across that you don't get attention from other men or this or that. And honestly, if you're a salesperson, then, you know, I get the point of wanting to be a to build rapport, but that's not yeah. important. That's that's why I'm trying to understand because you're back with your husband. Or you you guys didn't d divorce, and he's older than you, right? Yes. Do you have any kids? Yes, we have a child together. Uh, how many years difference between you two? 26 years. So my question is, how have you made up? How have you made it up to him? We stayed together. Um, been, no, have you made uh, what happened was pretty bad, ma'am. It wasn't. Well, OK, it was bad. Um, you just I just talked to him about it. It was as I said, I was thinking about. Right. And I'm asking you, what have you, how have you made it up to him? How have you um, balanced that out? I, um, I, you stayed? I, I stayed. Yes, I stayed. Um, I've just been more focused on us, just not been, um, really putting too much effort do into... Think, uh, do you think if your husband hurt you, broke your heart, embarrassed you, did something along those lines, do you think he would have to just apologize or would he have to actually make it up? Both. Okay. Would have so like to when a man, like you got the old school thing in the movie, you, you forgot the anniversary, you forgot the birthday... That's why you're in the florist. You had to buy a yep. gift to make it up. All right. What have you? That's what I'm trying to hear. Well, and I haven't, I haven't heard that. Yeah, from I you, have. Right? I, I bought my husband a new phone. I got us all new phones. Um, I've been 
it's like following his lead. I've been going for events like dancing together. I've been keeping us busy, like any of our spare time. I I'm asking, I'm asking fishing. Okay. Um, I gave like, we have more intimacy and you know, things like that. We're more intimate. All right. And I think it should match what I remember that to be. I'm gonna make a suggestion, ma'am, that um you sound like you got a sound like you have a decent man. Yeah, he's great. He's great. You're fortunate that you came home and you the, the locks weren't changed. Cause if you were mine, the locks would have been changed and you'd have been getting served. So you need to understand how fortunate you are and stop worrying about getting other men's attention and recognize that you are fortunate to still be married. And treat that man with respect because you you embarrassed yourself and him in front of the world. And life happens. But what I'm saying is focus on your man. And let him focus on you instead of you focusing on you. Make him your focus. And see if that I think that'll be a better outcome for you both. Um yeah, so I'm glad. I'm glad you. I'm glad he decided to uh, stay. But I, you do, yeah. You would have to make that up. Uh, and I, what I'm hearing, but you're not my wife. You're his wife. Well, what so, can I do to make it up? Well, you need to ask. I don't. I don't know, and I don't want to get there. But I just want you to understand that if your man did something to you, he'd have to do more than apologize. He'd have to. Uh, pay his debt to society, or pay. It, it has to. It has to match. You know, the 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 punishment has to match the crime. The apology has to match the infraction. And what you said, ma'am, was. I mean, it's still up. It's still live. So, and what I'm hearing is about him a phone about us phones. Okay, then he ain't got nothing. Wait, um, I got him a new phone. It's it, ma'am. It's beyond phones. You didn't hurt his. You didn't hurt his pride. You didn't hurt his phone. You you hit his ego and his pride in public. And that's what I'm. You're not understanding. So, uh, my point is, talk to your man, but understand that why y'all are together. Because just put your marriage and your man first. Right, because I'm gonna tell you right. Well, because I'm telling you right now, uh, go in the comment section on those videos. None of them men was trying to be your your husband. So, I mean, just fix it. That's yeah. all I'm saying. Just fix it. All right, man. I'm glad all right. you're together. Bye-bye. You know, man, I'm going to tell the audience, man, between a man and a woman, there's always some sort of special understanding. You know, it always happens, man. So, yeah, yeah. if y'all don't remember that video, ooh.